Wonderful weather we're having, isn't it? <laughs> How's it going, everybody? My name is Al, and welcome to the Nerd Room. Today we're playing some more Octopath Traveler. So in the last episode, we conducted a successful rescue mission. Unfortunately, shortly after said rescue mission, uh, we were betrayed by our sister and lost possession of the Flame of Elfric. So yeah, we might need to deal with that at some point. But for now, our next destination is, I believe, Hornet's next chapter, which is up here, in Still Snow. So let's get going. And if I remember correctly, we have to find a witch here or something? Like, just someone who can help us cure our master's current petrified status. In hopes of undoing your master's petrification, you head to Still Snow to meet the seer, Susanna. All right. Hopefully she can help. Following her master's trail, Hornet made the long journey to Stoneguard. There, she talked to Natalia, who had been friends with Zanta. Following Natalia's clue, Hornet found her master in the forest. Except, he had been petrified by the beast called Red Eye. Hornet, forgivest this old man for not keeping his promise. The last words he wrote before the curse stilled his hand. In the same note, he told Hornet to find a woman called Susanna. She is a seer, he wrote, and perhaps she can help. And thus does Honnet arrive in the frozen village of Still Snow. By the spirits, the snow falleth deep here. Oh. Oh, what's up, Lind? Is that a is that a happy roar or oh. oh, okay. I guess Lind just likes the snow. What is it, Lind? Tis not like thee to frolic in as a kitten. <laughs> But then, thou art a snow leopard, art thou not? For thee arriving in this white wasteland is like a homecoming. Yeah, I guess he would feel right at home. Oh, hey. Party, I ain't never seen a snow leopard that big afore. It, it doesn't bite, does it? No, you should be fine as long as you don't, you know, attack me. Fear and not, young ones. Lind is with me. She's a gentle creature. She will doeth thee no harm. She's yours? Funny sort of pet, ain't she? I mean, she's a really <laughs> effective pet. Lind is not a pet. Oh, okay. She is my companion. My friend. Okay. <laughs> Friends, you say? Just like us, then. Her fur is so soft. Yeah. And warm, too. <laughs> you okay there, Lind? You're kind of fidgeting back and forth there. Uh, telling me, children. Doth a woman by the name of Susanna liveth here? The old lady? The old witch, you mean? Aye, we know her. Who doesn't? I see. And where might I find her? See that house with the red roof over yonder? Oh, wow. I'd say, I'd say she's doing quite well for herself. Ha, <laughs> huh. yes I do. That's the old witch's place. Thank thee, children. Bye! Of course, say hello to the witch for us. Bye bye, Lind. <laughs> it's weird. Whenever you hear someone refer to a witch, it's very seldom in a uh, in a positive tone of voice. You know. <laughs> Enjoyest the attention, didst thou? Wow. Well, oh, a little anime sweat drop. I. Uh, I guess not. <laughs> Best come in with me then, before they return with more friends. Lind is popular with children, isn't she? Yes, in our village, the younglings oft played with her. Lynn seemed to enjoy in the games as well. Nothing warms the heart quite like seeing children smile. Lind is most proud of her fur. She liketh nothing better than to be stroked and groomed. I can see that. Of course, the children liken it also to burying themselves in her thick, warm coat. Um, yes, what is it? Do you think Lind would snap at me if I stroked her? Of course not. Wilt thou? Would I ever? Once the children have had their turn, of course. Then by all means. Okay. Oh. Okay, a bit of a gathering outside the witch's place. Can, can I help you all? Hmm? What is this crowd? But I have journeyed many leagues to have my fortune told by Madame Susanna. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, let's go. I implore you, pray, open the door. Okay, I, I don't think this dude's gonna budge, buddy. He just kind of seems like, just completely stone-faced. 
God's teeth, man, get out of my way! Oh, jeez! Oh, and again, and again, just, just, just nothing. <laughs> you wretched whoreson, apologize at once. You won't get no apology out of Ali- Alak? Al- Aliak? Aliak? I'll just call him Alec, because <laughs> I don't even know how to begin to pronounce that. You won't get no apology out of Alec. He don't talk none. Has he lost his tongue? Nay, it's just that Susanna does the talking for them, both of them. Bah. <laughs> okay, so I guess in order to see Susanna, I gotta get past her bouncer. Who is that man? Susanna's minder. Looked at, looks after her and keeps the riffraff from bothering her, as ye might have noted. Name's Alec. She took him in off the streets when he was a wee sprout. Saved his life, she did, and he's been with her ever since. Old women aren't commonly in need of bodyguards. They are when folk from far and wide come flocking to have their futures told. Fame don't sit too well on her, considering how little she cares for company. Surely she doth not refuse us every visitor. Bit a funny one, ain't it? A seer who can see the future clear as day, but don't tell no one what she knows. Alec turns them all away, and no amount of begging or beseeching makes one spit a difference. Every now and then a fool tries to get rough with Alec, but oft as not ends up on with only a cracked skull for his trouble. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Finding her was easy, but talking to her may proveth more difficult. So, uh... Yeah, provoke Alec. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I... <laughs> okay. I was gonna think maybe I can, like, um... I can, like, uh... Find some kind of distraction or something. No, I just gotta fight him. All right. Well, let's see how this goes. Hey, Alec. Go forth, my friend. <laughs> and again, just nothing. All right. Well, let's see what kind of damage he can do. First, I better check if he's good. At, if any. Yep, there we go. Any good one? Uh, yeah. Jeez Louise. <laughs> okay. I should have just abandoned that thought. My goodness. All right. <laughs> what I was trying to say. I should see if any of Lin's attacks works against him, which one does. Holy crap. <laughs> well, I guess I should just keep attacking him with Lind, right? Like, like Lind just, I have, no matter what, I can just keep sending her out whenever. These guys, I, uh, these guys are limited. So yeah, just, I'll just keep fighting them with Lind and use the occasional item. Ow, 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 okay. Oh dear. Ooh, okay, now's the time for the item. Oh boy. Oh, I'll stick it there for a second. Ah, I should be fine. And then he just chucks ten daggers at me. Okay. Ooh, that was a little close. You know what? Might be. It might be smart to use a healing grave now because he might. He might hit me with that dagger storm shit again. That did not give me a whole lot. Yeah, I guess I, I think I've officially reached that point where where low-level healing items I just might as well not bother with. That is not gonna help. Oh no. Oh no. Oh crap, that might have screwed me. Oh, keep dodging. Whew. Okay. Okay. That was close. He confused me and I could not control what I was doing for a second there. Whew. There we go. Jeez. There we go. Okay. Now, let's go talk to Susanna after we, you know, slash the shit out of her uh out of her bodyguard. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Eep. Oh, he made a noise. <laughs> <laughs> He's a man grown, but still a boy within. Okay, well, you seem rather chipper, given we just beat the shit out of who I can only assume you consider your adopted son. Be a dear, Hannet, and have Linda carry the poor fool within. Oh, okay, so she already knows me. He'll be catching his death of cold lying out in the snow like a log. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How dost thou knowest my name? That's what you want to ask, isn't it? I'm a seer, remember? Possessed of the all-seeing eye. 
Or so they say. Then thou art an oracle. Truly, thou will be able to help. <laughs> Poppycock and nonsense is all it is. Poppycock? A hunter from the woodlands who communes with the beasts. Not a common sight in these parts. The only one who might fit that description is that hobblety hoy, Zan. <laughs> hobblety hoy? <laughs> okay. That is my new favorite insult. Or at least I assume it's an insult. It certainly doesn't sound like a compliment. Him or his prentice, Hanet of the Darkwood. Your age, your snow leopard, your garb. Simple deduction, my dear. The trick is to say what you know and nothing more and let the gullible fill in the details. That's all Susanna's famous all-seeing eye is in the end. Well? Disappointed to learn I'm just a fraud? On the contrary, now I know I can trust thee. If thou speakest the truth about this, then surely thou wouldst not speak false of aught else. <laughs> Fair befall you, but that Zonta lad raised a clever apprentice, and that's the truth. <laughs> I like this woman. <laughs> now, why don't you tell me why you're here? <coughs> oh, gazoon tight. Uh, maybe, maybe we should have this conversation inside. <laughs> very, very nice, Hornet. <laughs> but first, let's go inside, shall we? Couldn't agree more. Let's go. It seemeth that would be for the best. Oh well, well. That young master of yours has managed to get himself into a right mess, hasn't he? Mistress Susanna, canst thou help in him? There is one way. In truth. Truth? Ah, now, that's a word. You said you trusted me, remember? If there is the slightest chance of lifting that curse, I will trust whomever I need to. Oh. What, what are you doing? Milady? <laughs> um... Gods take my <laughs> eyes if that fool hasn't raised a strong and brave young woman. Oh, okay. I, I guess she just came up to hug me or something. <laughs> the, the face haunt it made may, uh, raised a few questions. <laughs> I'd scarce believe it if you weren't standing here in front of me. I learned from his example. The good and the bad. <laughs> is that so? Can't imagine that would work, but the world is full of wonders at that. Isn't that so, my dear? <laughs> it is. But about the curse... I am prepared for any trial. There is but one way to turn stone back to living flesh, and that is to slay the beast that wrought the curse. Oh. All right, so we gotta track down the red eye. I had feared as much, but it shall be done. Stay, child. I'm not finished yet. Did Zanta forget to teach you patience? Mine apologies. If you try to fight the beast as you are, you'll only meet the same fate as your master. And what good will you be to him then? Uh, not very. But I must... What you must do first is find the means to protect yourself from Red Eye's lethal power. Tell me, dear, have you heard of a plant called Herb of Grace? Never. Long ago, there was a beast in these parts, too, what turned men to stone. Folks here soon learned that Herb of Grace could ward off the magic. I reckon it should be effective against Red Eye as well. Herb of Grace grows in a forest so thick there are few ways in. I'll send a layak ahead to show you the entrance to the trail. A layak, okay. Thank you for also giving me a pronunciation. <laughs> but know that the forest is a perilous place, and home to many frightful beasts. You want to prepare well before you venture in. I shall. Thank thee, my lady. <laughs> it is my pleasure, dear. In a strange way, 
That Zanta boy was like a son to me. A vexing wayward one, but a son all the same. With you being his apprentice, it rather makes you my grandchild now. And what kind of a grandmother would I be if I refused to lend you a helping hand? Master and I are both in thy debt. Okay. So, uh, exit the village to the north and make for the White Wood. Okay. So I am assuming a laic will be there waiting for us. And I thought Herb of Grace was gone from this world. Even botanists believe the plant was long extinct. To think it still grows in these wintry wastes. Tis a miracle or near enough. Yes, this is why a true scholar should not confine himself to his office. Who knows what great discoveries await in far-flung frontiers. It pleaseth me that thou findest joy in this quest. And yet, that Susanna woman. What of her? Well, I was just most impressed to encounter one so wise and astute. And her name. It sounds familiar somehow. I must review my tomes when this journey is over. Okay, was she like an old scholar or something? You know what, actually, before we head out, uh, how much how much money do I got? 78,000, okay. I think I could buy some decent equipment for, for that. The, gr the Graviton Axe, wow. Okay, well that could help. Jeez Louise, that sounds like something you'd hear in Halo, not like a, uh, not like a fantasy RPG. <laughs> I might as well, honestly, I might as well just sell all my, like, regular healing grapes, because at this point, they basically do nothing to heal my party. So yeah, we'll buy a bunch of these, say, a nice even... Let's say, give us a nice even 30, <laughs> just for, you know, just to uh, prepare for any future quests. <laughs> and now, sell all of these. Well, I got 135 bucks for it, but whatever, I'll take it. It's not like I'm going to use them, I don't think. All right, I think we're good to go. Onward to the White Wood. Oh my goodness gravy. <laughs> Wonderful weather we're having, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez Louise, I mean, like, I'm Canadian and we're used to the cold, but dang, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I think I can see the save point through the, through the blizzard, though. It's just not that much further. Oh, okay, dang, that cleared up quickly. Grim whiteness, as far as the eye can see. I mean, it's a very nice looking landscape, though. Tis colder here, too. The wind cutteth to the bone. This way. Oh. Okay. He actually talks. A trail. A secret path only the mistress knows. It leads straight to the heart of the forest. Out here, the snow never melts. It covers landmarks and makes every direction look much like the other. The herb of grace grows somewhere deep in the forest. But be wary. Many dangerous fiends lurk within. That is why Susanna keeps the knowledge of this path a secret. So thou dost speak in, and as well as any man. Only when I have something to say. Okay, man a few words. I can... I can respect that. Will that more people in this world followeth the same principle? Go carefully. I have not seen Susanna look so happy for many a year. Pray return safely, that you might bring her more joy. I shall. I owe her that much and more. I will prevail. Okay. Oh, okay, just, okay, I wanted to save first. Uh, can I go back? Okay, good, I can go back. <laughs> oh, hey, Alec, you're just gonna wait for me here? All right. <laughs> Just like the, I shall, as soon as I step into the forest, wait a minute, hold on, <laughs> and just run straight back out. Alaic's just waiting for me. Oh, that well, was quick. Did you get the herb? No, no, Alaic, I did not. However, I shall do so in the next part. So until then, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit that like button down below. My name is Al, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!